Hello everyone. So in this video, I will share to you how to create loadable families for walls, floors, ceilings, and roofs in Revit. So in this slide, it shows how the BIM model is being developed from the design stage to construction stage. So if you are using a Revit software as an authoring tool, then the key question would be how we can develop the system families such as ceilings, walls, floors, and roofs into the appropriate LOD. Okay, so there are limitations when modifying geometries for system families in Revit. So we are only bounded by uh, the type properties dialog. So any, any uh, properties or geometric properties that we need to change for the system families, so we have to use this uh, type properties dialog. So what are the other solutions? So we could use in-place model or in-place families or loadable families. But between the two families, in-place model families is not recommended. So the reason is each instance of in-place component represents one family. So if you have uh, four, four in-place component ceiling inside the project, then it will show to you that there will be four, four families. So it will add up the model size for the Revit project. So the best, uh, the best solution would be by using the loadable families. Loadable families. So there's also problems when using loadable family templates. So if you if you go to the family category and parameters dialog, so the floors, ceilings, walls, and roofs are not available in the family category list. That's why we end up on using either generic model or specialty equipment when it comes on creating elements for floor, ceilings, walls, and roofs. Okay, but there's a workaround on that one. So we just need to create a family, a family file, that, that RFA file, and force the family category to be floors, ceilings, wall, walls, or roofs. So how can we do that one? Okay, so how can we create those uh, Revit family templates? So the first thing that we need to do is we just need to create a new project. So I will just use the default construction template. Click OK. Okay, then the next thing that I need to do is I just need to delete uh, other levels and just uh, keep level 1. So how will I do it? So I'll just create a new schedules for the levels okay so this is the fastest way to, to delete all the other elements so delete row so everything is deleted now I could delete all the other pieces. okay so the next thing is you need to show the project base point or the internal origin so whichever uh, you could use this one also internal origin if you're using the Revit 2020 and above or project base point if you're using the older versions I will use the project base point so this one would be the 00, zero. okay so the next thing that I need to do is uh, create an in place or model in place component so we'll need to create a category for walls. Okay, so this one will be the walls. Then I'll create any elements, just one component inside the family editor. So I will try to create a 100 radius cylinder. Click OK. Okay, so once I've created this component, so what I need to do is I just need to group it. Create group. So group one. Okay, so now we're in the walls category. So how how we will create this one as a Revit family template as a loadable one. So what I need to do is I just need to go to the project browser in the uh, mod in the groups. Just need to find group one. Okay, then right click save group. So if you will notice that the first of type would be save as an RFA. So this is what we need. A Revit family type okay so I'll just uh, go to the desktop and create a new folder for Revit family 
template. So this one would be for the walls template, wall family. Okay, click save. Okay, now I need to create the family for roofs. So I, I just click the roofs category, then save again, right click and save the group. Then change it to roof family. Then go again to the family categories and parameters, then change it to floors. Then right click. Then go to the door folder. Change it to floors. Then the last one would be ceilings. I click then save it to folder. Okay, so once you've saved all the ready family uh, templates, then we could just close the in place model and we'll try to open those uh, templates or the family one. The family file so click in the ceiling family so you will notice that the category now of this file is now ceiling ceilings one so what i need to do is just need to delete that one the component that i've created then just save it so this one will be my template for the ceiling so i'll do this one i'll do the same for the floor family so did it so you will notice that the category of the family is floors then save it and roof then save walls then save okay so that's how we create the family templates for walls roofs uh ceilings and floor so i hope that you learned uh, something from this video and if there's anything you need to ask about uh, using revit in actual actual projects then you could just comment it below and i would create another video in response to those uh, comments or questions so thank you and have a nice day